Okay, good night everybody, welcome. Today we're going to start section five, okay? How are you doing? Today is Tuesday, so it has to be different from yesterday. Yes, I'm fine. Fine, excellent, Mauricio. Okay. okay, section five, it's about sports. So we are going to learn vocabulary. And ah, we had a homework, right? Yes, we have homework. Okay, uh, could you do it? Can you complete the, the homework? Yes. Yes, it was difficult yes. or easy. Difficult for me. Difficult. Okay, Alba completed. Okay, and the rest? Los demás, easy or difficult? Difficult, no, no. Difficult. Difficult, no, no. Okay, let's check. Why? Okay, it was frequency adverbs. Wait, que no he perdido los controles de Zoom, no me aparecen. Wait, wait. My God. Okay, Álvaro. Qué raro. Okay, voy a salir y voy a volver a entrar porque no me aparecen los ahí está ahorita no yes what happened wait ahí está y los controles de Zoom. Ah, it's different now. Okay. Number one. I watch the news. I don't like them. And we have to, to pick one of the frequency adverbs. Hardly ever. Yes, hardly ever. I hardly ever watch the news. I don't like them. That's the reason why. Um, never. Hey, Jack never watches TV on the weekend. Okay, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Esther always goes to the cinema. 
to the cinema on Saturdays with her family. Always. Are you Always. sure? Okay. I get up late on Saturdays. Usually. 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 Okay. Susan and Paul. Sometimes. Sometimes. Play tennis in the morning. And Peter. Often. Often. Okay. Often goes out for dinner. Okay. Let's check. Okay. Excellent. You have good memory. Okay. Now. Solo. <laughs> only two correct. Yo porque la hice como eh. cinco veces, piche, hasta que me salieron todas puestas. Ok. Yes, you have to try, porque no, no daba muchas pistas, solamente en el de las news. Y de ahí como que no daba muchas pistas para, para saber qué tan frecuente se hacía. Ok, but you, you do it. So that's the good thing in your practice. Okay, let's see the vocabulary about sports. Seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports. Okay, so we have two things. We have the seasons. Okay, we have the seasons and we have sports. We are going to start with the sports. Okay, we're going to start with the sports. Okay, let's see. Okay, Eric and Alvaro notice. Okay, how many do you know? And we have different sports here. We have the list and we are going to match. We are going to match the name of the sport with the corresponding picture. Okay, no, uh, well, we're going to write here the number, the number that, that corresponds. Okay, we have football, soccer. Okay, soccer. What number is soccer? Eight. Mm, 13 yes 13 13 this one soccer okay football soccer okay baseball number five number five, five. five. number five Am american football number eight, eight. 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 yes correct Yes, you see. Rugby. What is that? Rugby. I don't know that rugby. Okay. It uh, there, there is a movie about rugby with Matt Damon. Rugby. 50. 50? No. Mm -mm. What is that rugby? Which one? 20. 20. 20. Yes. 20. Is similar, a kind of similar to American football, 
because it's aggressive, it's a, an aggressive support. Uh, the contact, the contact, a touching, okay? So it's 20, rugby. Basketball? 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Okay. Tennis? 16. 16. 16. Ice hockey? 14. 14. 14. <laughs> okay. Volleyball? One. One. Okay. Golf. Nine. 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 Skin. Skin. Three. 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 Yes. 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 Three. Yes. Bowling eleven. 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 Boxing four. 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 Gymnastics eighteen. 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 Yes. Eighteen. Eighteen. Swimming. 19. 19. 19. 19. Surfing. 10. 10. Yes. 10. Badminton. 15. 15. 15. Rock climbing. 6. 6. 6. Yes. Running. Two. 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 And cycling. Twelve. 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 Okay. Twelve. So here we have different Twelve. sports. Okay, here we have different sports. Twelve. Okay, let's practice um, pronunciation. Okay, soccer. 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 Baseball. 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 American football. American football. Rugby. 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 Basketball. 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 Tennis. 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 Ice hockey. Ice, Ice hockey. hockey. Volleyball. 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 Golf. 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 Skin. 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 Bowling. 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 Boxing. 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 Gymnastics. 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 With S at the end, gymnastics. 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 Okay. Swimming. Swimming. Surfing. 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 Badminton. 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 Rock climbing. Rock climbing. Running. 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 And cycling. 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 Okay. And table.
<laughs> That's not a sport. Well, in some countries, probably, but here in El Salvador, no. <laughs> You are bad. Today is not Friday, it's Tuesday. Behave. ¿Por qué no lo puso ahí, profe? Tennis. Table tennis. Ah, el table pong. tennis. Es el ping pong. No, okay. table okay. dance. Yes, I, I, literally, I, I sí. heard table dance. Okay, so yes, table, but it's ping pong. Yes, ping pong or... Um, Table, table tennis. tennis. Are you sure? Tennis de mesa. Tennis de mesa. Okay. Es lo mismo ping pong. Okay. Yes, it's another. It's another. Okay, now. Ah, this one. Yes. It's number seven. Number seven. Yes, it was missing. Number seven, the table tennis. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, to talk about sports, we use some collocations. Okay, the collocations are the words that we write um, before the sport or when you mention the sport and to say mm -hmm. that you practice, that you practice that sport. And we have three different collocations que sería la forma de decir Cómo practicamos ese deporte. Okay, you can play the sport, you can go practice the sport, or you can do. Okay, the sports that you play are the ones that uh, you need a ball, a ball to play them. Okay, so all the sports that need a ball you play for example play basketball play soccer play tennis football. play volleyball mm, play football yes american football we have they have a they use a special ball entonces siempre que el deporte lleve una pelota Usted va a utilizar the collocation play. Even yeah. though if the, the ball is a little different. Okay, for example, in, in hockey, okay, it's not called ball. It's a puck. It's a puck. But okay. they, they took the puck like a ball. Um, also in badminton, the ball is different, right? La que tiene como la una cosita. But they 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 uh take uh that element like the ball. Then we have the collocation go. Okay, go. Uh, also play. It's for competitive sports competitive sports. The collocation go you are going to use with all the sports that end in ing. Okay, si el deporte termina en ing, you are going to use go. Okay, go bowling, go camping, go dancing, go hiking. Go running. Aquí tenemos otros que no nos aparecían en la lista. Okay, for example, we have scuba diving. Okay, scuba diving is inside of the ocean, right? You can do scuba diving. Um, go fishing. Okay, if the sports and in ING, 
you're going to use go. And the last collocation is do. Okay, do. Here, the, you are going to include all the sports in which you don't need a ball or you do it without a ball. Okay, for example, we have do weight lifting. Okay, weight lifting. Do karate. Do yoga. Do aerobics. Do exercise. Do push ups. Okay, do sit up, sit sit ups. Do a warm up. Okay, you don't need a ball. You don't need a ball to practice. Okay, so these are the three collocations that you are going to use according to to the sport, the type of, of the sport. Okay, questions in this part. No. Okay, Alvaro. No question. No questions. <clears throat> okay, está claro. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar go, do, and play? Yes. Sí, teacher. Yes. Yes, Okay. Teacher. Okay. Okay, and okay, now let's uh, do a sentence, one for each category. So three sentences, you're going to give me three sentences. Okay, one using go, one using do, and one using play. Que okay, siempre en simple present, porque es el tema que estamos viendo ahorita. Siempre usando simple present. Profe, disculpe, ¿me puede repetir lo último que dijo? Vamos a hacer tres oraciones. Una utilizando go, otra do y otra play. Y uno de los deportes de los que aparecen ahí. Gracias. Okay. Una de cada uno, entonces. Yes, una de cada uno. Thanks. Podemos us usar verbos, ¿verdad? Yes. Well, in this case, go do and play will be your... But but yes, you can add, uh, I enjoy uh, do uh, aerobics. I enjoy to do. Tendría que estar en este caso si van a incluir otro verbo. Okay. O lo pueden, lo pueden usar también con routines. I do aerobics every week. Or I do aerobics every Saturday. Que okay, puede ser con rutinas. Puede ser con usando frequency adverbs. Miss, eso iba a preguntar. Es... ¿Sí? Yo quiero poner este. Rarely. Sería, I rarely do exercise. Yes, I rarely do sí, sí. exercise. Yes, sí. correct. Gracias. ¿Cómo podemos diferenciar el de vamos con el go cuando se refiere a un deporte? Peter? Well, it's, it's the same. 
because when you go cycling, dancing, fishing, you have to go literally to a different place or an a specific place to do that, that activity. Okay, so estas particularmente son actividades o deportes que usted necesita ir a un lugar específico para poder realizarlas. So you, you, you tiene que movilizarse. <clears throat> so it's the same meaning. Yeah. Igual que, que play, no es que tenga otro significado sino que solamente es que tiene un uso diferente dependiendo del deporte. Pero el significado es el mismo. Teacher, eh, ¿se puede usar como I want, want, want to go camp is his summer? I want. I want. Want. Uh -huh, yes. want. Yes, I want to go camping. This summer, yes, yes, okay. good example. Okay, ready? Yes, finish. Okay, let's check. Volunteers. I play football in the park every Sundays. Okay, you can say every Sunday or so I play uh soccer, you say right? Soccer uh, at the park on Sundays. Remember if you add the S or you say it in, in, in plural Sundays, it means every Sunday. Okay. Karen. Okay, she rarely goes surfing in the beach. Okay, excellent. Yes, Ovidio? My wife never do exercise on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never does because you use uh, uh -huh. yes my wife never does exercise on the weekend okay I don't, I don't yes sí. oh, thank sí. you. Caso, sí. okay i play football and okay Okay, Davis, ahí vamos a arreglar lo del every Sundays, right? She's swimming in the lake. Mm. ¿Y dónde está la colocation? Le faltó el, el colocation. ¿Cuál dijimos que vamos a usar si el sport va en ING? Y vamos a utilizarlo con go. Entonces tendría que ser she goes swimming in the lake uh, on the weekend. I do exercise every night. Okay, yes, this is, is the correct. We can exercise. Uh, okay, Alvaro, igual the collocation. We do we do. O, o, o podría decir. Eh, o, ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? ¿Podemos hacer? Eso es lo, lo, lo que quiere decir. Nosotros jugamos todos los domingos, quería poner. Nosotros jugamos todos los domingos. Ah, espérame, esa es otra. Quiero ver. El que dice Monday. Monday es lunes. We do, we do exercise every Monday or on Mondays. We do exercise on Mondays. I 
go, en este caso hoy Dalma nos iría sin el to. I go camping. El to lo, lo usamos para separar dos verbos. En este caso camping is not a verb, sino que nos queda como, como un sustantivo. Okay, they do, they do exercise. Okay. She likes, recuerde hacer los cambios en tercera persona. She likes, aquí sí tenemos que usar el to. She likes to play baseball on Saturdays. I have a class. Okay. Podría ser mejor I go um, I go dancing Okay, today um, no podría aplicar porque recuerden que eh, estamos como hablando con, de rutinas o de frecuencias, de cuando hacemos las cosas. Entonces, si yo solo digo today, estoy abarcando solamente este día y tenemos que abarcar un periodo de tiempo, okay? a, a, a period of time. O, por ejemplo, podríamos decir, I go dancing from 5 to 6 p.m. Okay? Siempre tenemos que abarcar como un periodo de tiempo. We do warm up before play. Ok, before play. Sin el de. Y lo demás está bien. We do warm oh, uh, a warm up before play. We play football. Ok, she goes. Tendría que ser Araceli. She goes running. She goes running at the park. Or she goes running after work. I usually play soccer with my friends at night. Excellent, Mauricio. Yes. I play volleyball in at. Sería cuando hablamos de lugares específicos, usamos at. I play volleyball at the school. I play football. Okay. I play football with my friends. Ah, hay, hay que añadir un complemento. He plays badminton every afternoon. Okay. My family usually go... En este caso, como family es plural, no necesitamos hacer el cambio. My family usually go running on Sundays. Okay. I go dancing every Friday night. Ah, excellent video. I want to play soccer on the weekend. Okay, yes. I like to play soccer with my sister. I go dancing with my friends. He goes, he goes swimming in, que sería on, on Sundays. On Sundays. She doesn't play tennis with the ball in, on Saturdays. Ok, algo que tienen que recordar es que en inglés, the days of the week, you have to write, write them with a capital letter. Que siempre se escriben con letra mayúscula in English. In Spanish, no, but in English, yes. The, the days of the week, the months of the year. Okay, eso siempre tienen que ir con capital letter. I play soccer for fun. You do aerobics at gym. Okay, I want to, I want to do yoga this week. Okay, yes, I go renting every weekend with my brother. Ok, 
Creo que se le cambió la palabra. Ay, oh my God, renting. ¿Qué, qué quiere decir, Mario? Mario, where are you? Mario. <laughs> where is that Mario? Se me fue. Mario Antonio. Well, let me Mar know what, what is your idea. Trabajo, dijo. Ah, okay. Okay. Podía hablar. Okay, thank you. Muy bien. Let's move. Okay, questions. Sí, una pregunta, profe. Yes. Eh, lo que acaba de explicar es que si usamos eh, cualquier día de la semana, entre la, una oración o una pregunta, ¿tendremos que iniciarla con mayúscula, la primera letra? Sí, los días de la semana, los meses del año, en inglés, siempre van con mayúscula. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Es como una regla gramatical. Because it's a, it's a proper name. Es un, son nombres propios. Sin importar en qué El posición sin, de la oración. Yes, correct. Sin importar la posición. Gracias. Ok. More questions. No. No. No questions. I know, teacher. Okay. So you have to practice to practice more to get uh to get familiar, okay, with with this. Now let's listen. Okay, let's listen to the conversation, I think. It's that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, try to give as many examples Hi everyone, in this class you'll Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or... Okay, so here we have the conversation. It's very short. Okay, then we're going to, to, to see the, the seasons. Después vamos a ver las seasons. Okay. Okay, I love sports. That's the name of the conversation. Two volunteers to read the conversation. Okay, Ovidio and Davis. Hey, okay. start Ovidio. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do 
in your free time? Well, I love the sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. You are a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, remember athlete. You are a really a good athlete. Okay. Uh, Eric and Karen. Okay. Empiezo yo? Yes. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good. No sé cómo se dice eso. Athlete. When do you play uh, these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, thank you. Now, Alison and Maria Belen. So, you think what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athletic. When do you play a day this is a sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I hot watch then off television. Okay, thank you. Okay, practice athlete, athlete. Que esta se convierte como en una I y esta es silent. Athlete, athlete. Okay, Araceli and Alba. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Where I love sport. Riley, what sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all uh, these sports? Oh, I don't play the sport. I just watch the on television. Okay, thank you. Hey, I just, just, como Justin Bieber or Justin Timberlake, just. Okay, and the last one, Veronica and Carla. Yeah. Yes. So, Justin, what do you in your free time? Well, I love your sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play on the sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I use what thing on television. Okay, thank you. Okay, baseball is the same. Aquí desaparece esta. Baseball. Y esta tiene un sonido largo. 
the A, okay, baseball. And favorites, favorites. Aquí también hace un long, long sound, okay, the A. Baseball favorites. Okay. Questions? No. 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 No questions, me. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. A ver, pronunciation. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Um, esta palabra, ¿cómo se dice? Athlete. 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 Okay. And this one. Baseball. 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 Okay. This one. Just. 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 Salvadorians have troubles with the S sound. Porque dicen que hablamos con la J, ¿verdad? Los salvadoreños. Entonces, algunas veces se nos olvida pronunciar la S. Okay, that's why. And let's see. Okay. This one. Favorites. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, now let's talk about the seasons. Okay, we have uh or we are the, the there are four seasons okay um around the world. But here in El Salvador, we only have two seasons. But in other places, they have the, the four seasons. Okay. We have... Uh, Okay, we have spring, summer, autumn. Okay, autumn is also called fall, fall, autumn or fall, and winter. Okay, some characteristic of the spring, okay? During the spring, um, it's generally sunny, but we also have some days with rain, okay? In spring, the flowers are blossom, okay? Es cuando Se abren todas las flores, and it's very colorful, okay? Spring is very colorful. And the temperature, okay, it's warm. It's warm. It's not hot, but it's not cold. It's warm, warm. Okay, then in summer, okay, the characteristic of the summer, that summer, yes, is very hot okay the days are usually uh a shiny or sunny okay and the temperature it's it's hot and um 
Well, in summer we have vacations also, right? And there is a <laughs> there is a song about Olaf talking about summer. Okay, esa va a ser su homework. Luego tenemos autumn, okay, autumn or fall. Okay, in autumn, the leaves, las hojas, the leaves of the tree, the trees, eh, fell down, se caen. Entonces, in the colors of the, the trees, the, in the, the scenery in general, is brown, brown, red, orange, okay? That, that, that are the, the color in autumn. And in autumn or fall, the, um, the, 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 they are, the days are usually windy, okay, windy, okay windy and the last Never. one Never. winter no windy winter. es eh, en autumn es como Otoño. vento ben, ben, sería Ventarona. ajá como ven, ventoso yes otoño en winter que sería invierno eh, winter eh, here in el salvador the winter is different Okay, in El Salvador, we don't have a snow, but we have rain. Okay, so in winter, the days here in El Salvador are, uh, are rainy days. And in other, in other countries, okay, the winter is snowing. The temperatures are cold, cold or freeze. In El Salvador, it's cold, but in the countries, that they have snow, it's freeze. Okay, let's see. Okay, aquí está lo de las, lo, lo, lo de las temperatures. And also in United States and in other countries, they have a, dif a different time um com, eh, or schedule que dicen el, hor el horario de verano okay porque se les eh, the, the, the day the days are longer algunas veces los días son más largos verdad y, y oscurece eh, más tarde y otras veces oscurece más temprano entonces por eso tienen como un cambio de horario el horario de, de verano Okay, um, here we have or, um, okay, y aquí habla un poquito de, le voy a mandar esta información para que la, la puedan leer. Y son características. And um, here is in the UK. Okay, we can do the quiz. Okay, how many seasons does the UK have? What do you think? Three, two, or four? Four. 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 Okay, correct. Y eso que no leímos, mire. Next, around how long does each season last? Ah, eso no lo leímos. But if they have four seasons? Three. Three what? Three Days, months. years, months. Three, months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Okay. In which season are the days shorter in the UK? Winter. In the spring. Spring. No leímos eso. Pero vamos a hacer, le vamos a hacer caso. The que winter. Caso. Winter. Are winter. You sure? Yes. I'm sure. Yes. Excellent, Jose. <laughs> okay, next. 
Which season in the UK usually has the hottest and sunniest days? Summer. 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 Okay, excellent. And the last one. Which part of the UK usually has the coldest? The coast, Scotland in north of England or the mm. south of England? So of England. South mm -hmm. is the el sur and north is the north. North. Scotland in north of England. Okay, Scotland. Scotland, yes. No. Scotland oh. is Escocia. Okay, excellent. Good. So this, let me see. Okay. I'm, I will check more information about the seasons. Para que pueda eh, read, read at home. If you can read more about that. And um, well, now let, let's use the information of the, the sports with the season, así como nos aparecían en el ejemplo en el video, que nos decían, por ejemplo, in um, summer we can go y qué actividades podemos hacer. Dependiendo de la, de la season en la que estemos. Serían oraciones, teacher. Yes. ¿Cuántas serían por cada una de las estaciones? Only one. Ahorita las vamos a hacer. Only one. They give me a season in what activity or what sport can you do or practice in that season? Okay, for example, on I play hockey in the winter. Okay, I play hockey in winter. Okay, yes. I go surfing in summer, right? Or I like to go surfing in summer. What else? ¿Cómo se llama un deporte que, que patina? ¿Cómo se le dice que patinan en, en la nieve? ¿Que andan con patines? ¿Hockey? No. O el... Ah, ice skating. Ice skating. Patinaje sobre hielo. Es, es ice cave. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me more examples. I play mm -hmm. volleyball on the summer. On summer, on the beach. On the beach. Okay. I go dancing the four things. <laughs> in the four seasons okay so you like dancing excellent okay two more examples
Mm, podría ser. I, I would like to eyes. Is, ¿Cómo dijo que se decía? Skin. Ice skating. Oh. Ice skating in winter. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I go fishing in spring. Okay. I go fishing spring. Yes. Okay, I think it's time. Okay, we are going to continue tomorrow. I can swim. Yes, correct. Eso les iba a decir que también podemos hacerlas en negativo. I can't, pero le faltó la colocation. Go swimming. Don't forget to use the collocation. I can't go swimming on winter or in the winter. Okay. Excellent, Alvaro. Good example. Teacher, okay. yo tengo un yes. problemita. Yes. Eh, fíjese que en, en, en la sección 4 hay dos oraciones que no me las acepta. Section four. Y no llego ni al 80%. Okay, en la ¿qué, plataforma. Ajá. ¿Qué parte sería? ¿Qué ejercicio específicamente? ¿Cuál ejercicio sería? Sería el 4.11, creo ya es el último. El antepenúltimo. O el último es el 4.12. El último, Ticha. Ah, no, el, el antepenúltimo. 4.9. Ajá, acaba. Eh... Ya las escribí de varias formas y no, no me las acepta las primeras dos. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Y tiene que poner punto al final. I hardly ever. Eat snacks at work. Y la segunda, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. No me las acepta ninguna de las dos. No será alguna letra o el punto. Ya, le... ya puse el punto. Y las letras, cabal, le he revisado un montón de veces. Pensé que era por el punto, pero igual no me las acepta. Vaya, si gusta, eh, me manda las capturas y, y yo lo voy a reportar. But tomorrow. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, en la primera tiene que ser mayúscula. Sí, también. Ok. okay. Sí. Entonces, mándenme las capturas y vamos a ver. Ok, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. 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 B